It's game day. Let's get it. Cougar Nation, you, you guys know me as, as a person. You guys know the troubles that I've been through at Arizona, where I came from, and then through the, the journey that we've had together. Um, that just the support that you guys have given me, it, it's, it's meant everything to me. It's not going to be an easy journey. It's, it's still going to be a roller coaster, but, but I know that there's, there's no other place I'd rather be, no other people I'd rather do it with, and I think that it's going to be a really special season this year. Just trying to stay as locked in as I can on this, this game, this scout that we have, but just trying to keep my mind clear. Other than that, making sure that my body feels good, Mind feels good. Just making sure I can help my team with whatever I can to help us win tonight. What up, what up? Jeez. We got film with Coach Fieger, making sure that I'm prepared with Scout, making sure I'm locked in. I can help my guys on the offensive end of the floor and the defensive end. And we'll go from there. Locked in, man. Now we're going down to get some treatment. Get my body right. How are you, Can man? You Come on now. Oh, man. I'm trying to, like hey, trying to keep up with you, man. Nice you. Yes, sir. What's up, Rob? Nothing much. There's nothing to see here. <laughs> He's the magician behind all this and he makes sure that my body my body feels good going into game day. <laughs> Just take it. Yeah. Oh bro, appreciate that. Okay, listen up, we about it. Real quick, I'm just gonna run through his identity of this team. Now, I wanna talk about number one, Jace Townsend, the Denver transfer who is a late leading scorer. He, he's gonna play, right? And so he may start, I'll talk to you guys. Okay, he's a shooter, he's a scorer. We're gonna, we're gonna be a stick hand catch two with him. We're not gonna run him off the three point line because he's taking three threes a game, but he's taking like 11 shots. All right, let's go. Let's get it, man, let's get it. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we ready? Let's get it, fellas. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. I'll never forget the first time that Alex Barcelo walked into our gym. It was in the annex. He was on his official visit, and he went on the court and started shooting. And he was a little bit nervous and a little bit broken and a little bit unsure. And then to watch him go through year one here and have such epic performances on a great team and then walk in last summer with people questioning, could he make the transition to a point guard position? Could he lead a team that was gonna be without Yoli Childs and Jake Toulson and TJ Hawes and all the questions that came with that. And to watch him go through the summer a year ago, seeing if he could actually bridge the gap with all these new players and kind of bring them into the fold and, and take the mantle of leadership. And then to walk, watch him walk in the gym this year like he owns the joint with the highest of high level goals now, with all the stuff that people know about him already. They know he's the best shooter in the entire country over the last two years. They know he can run as a point guard, a top 25 team, and now taking on this challenge of can he lead BYU even higher and put him in a position to, to go uh, chase his professional aspirations. The opportunity to watch these guys grow step by step by step and become these great young men and incredible leaders is uh, really humbling and wonderful. It's the best part of coaching. Just finished up pregame meal, getting ready to go take care of my body. Now I got a pregame superstition. Always come in with the fruit salad. Make sure that I usually eat this right now, a little bit now, and then after once I get treatment and do my meditation. So let's get it. If I make it big time, I told the guys I'm gonna donate an escalator to go up these stairs 
and then a slide to come down them into the locker room. People don't understand when we do two a days, our legs kill going up these stairs, three flights of stairs, and you got two more up there. Everything that I do, I like to keep it structured. Um, you know, I, I live by control what you can control. And uh, especially on game day, I like to wake up and have my set routine. So everything that I do, I structured it in increments. Um, I just finished up with some yoga. I always do 15 minutes of yoga, followed by two to three minutes of meditation, just to slow my mind up preparing for this game. And uh, just, just knowing how my body feels, always being honest with myself and uh, continuing on that routine so my body feels at its peak when I step out on the floor. I'm trying to tell these freshmen, man, the older you get, you need your rest. You gotta stay up on your sleep. Halfway through the season right now, came back for two reasons, to bring championships to Provo and also to make my dream come true playing in the NBA. Uh, I feel, feel really good about how the season's gone so far. You know, we battled some adversity, had some injuries, um, but we, we've been able to bounce back off those and um, continue to win games. So um, I feel really good. I know every time I step out on that floor, I got to give it my all, um, not only for myself, but for Zoe, my fiance, for this team and, and for these fans. And, that, that's just the one thing that I have in mind. Every, every, every game that I go into, I just know that I gotta lay it all out there for everybody. Let's go, man. Baseline, a little late footer for AB. BYU close on multiple occasions to double digit leads here in the second half. Long to AB. Good again. AB right back at it. Marcelo curls to the free throw line, jumps it, and scores it. Marcelo actually I've never stopped, seen that. picked up the ball, and looked the official right in the eyes as if, come on. AB, That's not three. Oh! That's not judicious. Five, five on five, man. Five on six, five on seven, five on eight. I don't care how many dudes against us, man. We're coming out a bit on top. We're coming out on top, man. Let's go. Yes, sir. Oh, it's been a day, but it's always nice when it ends with a dub, man. Everybody's happy. Now we're moving on to the next one in the morning. Let's get it. I think we should give the fans what they want, a shooting contest. But if you're too scared, I understand. You hear this? <laughs> You think I'm scared? Yeah. I'm not scared at all. Then let's see it. I'll, I'll shoot against you left-handed. <laughs> How about that? You couldn't even beat me right-handed. <laughs> okay, now she's capping. <laughs> now she's capping. I didn't want to look back 10 years from now and regret the decision of, you know what, I could have stayed a year and maybe I would be in a different position. I, I didn't want to leave any, any stone unturned or anything on the table. I, I wanted to give it everything I had. One of the main things that I've learned of coming back is, is I don't want to live with regrets. I want to always give it, you know, everything that I have and put everything I have out there. Let's <laughs> get it. Thanks for following me around on game day. We were able to pull out the W. That's a wrap.